Hi, it's Paul here again from Ebon Sky Studios, and today I'm going to be doing video 6 in the series showing how Sable can be used to create an RPG audio game. However, before I start today's video, some of you may already be aware, but we've recently entered Sable into a competition. Our entry is in the form of a YouTube video we've created, and we need to get as many likes on that video as possible. You can find the video on our YouTube channel. It's called Holman Prize Sable, an audio game development tool. I've also added a link to that video in the description below. Please, if you have enjoyed this video series, do check out the video and give it a like. And if you think there are others that would like to find out more about Sable, do also share the link with them. Winning this for us would be huge and really help to expand Sable. Anyway, that all being said, let's get on with today's demonstration. So I'm going to start by loading Sable. Enter. Sable Engine Alpha 1.60. Sky Studios. Sable Pre Alpha by Evan Sky Studios. Main menu, please select. Okay, so as usual, let's start by loading the project that we've been working on in the last few videos. Load project. Please select project. Sable demo. Please select map to okay, load. Okay, let's uh, load map. Map one. one. Opening map one. Okay, and if you remember in the last video, uh, we left it where we were just south of the bridge. Um, bridge. Oh, there we go. So we're exactly where we left it in the last video. So, like I say, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be creating an ability. So I'll show you the uh, how abilities can be created. So let's bring up the Creation Tools menu. Creation Tools. Please select which of the tools you wish to use. Okay, so today we're going to create an ability. Ability so Creation Tool. That. Please select the type of ability. Uh, the next thing we can do is select which type of ability we want to create. So there's various options here. Affliction. Damage. Enhancement. Passive. Restoration. Okay, so let's select uh, damage. damage. Please enter the name of the ability edit type and so text. First we need to give the uh, the ability a name, so let's call it uh, fire. Fire. E -E -E breath. Enter, enter a description, edit, type um, and text. We won't worry about giving it a description. Escape, what level does the player learn this ability? Star note, this does not apply um, to enemies. As any abilities given to enemies, they can use regardless of level, edit, one, I'm going to give this text. to an enemy, so I'm just going to leave it as one. Enter, does edit, this ability last longer than one round? Uh, we're going to say it doesn't last longer than one round. No. Please select which type of points this will use. Okay, so it's going to use stamina. stamina points. Enter the amount of stamina points this ability will use. Edit zero. Uh, type I'm going to say it uses five, five. points. Enter Does edit, this ability text. work on multiple targets? Okay, so do we want it to work on multiple targets? Let's say yes. Yes. Please select stat modifier type which the target will have to use for their saving roll. Okay, so let's say it's going to use... Uh, Strength. It's going to use dexterity. dexterity. Does this ability deal physical damage using the player's weapon? Okay, so some abilities uh, might be using a player's weapon. For instance, you might have, I don't know, uh, a multi-shot on a bow or something like that, and at which point you'd want it to use the weapon sounds uh, rather than seeing individual, maybe. Uh, but I'm going to say no to that no. here, because that's not what we want. Please select sound. So what we need to do now is select the uh, sound for the... Um, for the ability. So I've got lots Dead of sounds dispel. in here. So let's fire breath. Uh, here's one I put in here earlier. Now, one thing I always forget to show when I'm doing these videos, uh, and I get asked quite a lot, is can you sample sounds before you select them? And the answer is yes. If you're ever anywhere in Sable where you, you're choosing a sound, you can simply press a key to sample what that sounds like. Same thing like things like NPC voice lines, etc. if you want to test them before you select them. Let's just show you that here by testing that sound. Okay, so that's what that sound uh, sounds like, and I like that, so I'm going to select that. Would you like to add an ability miss sound? Okay, so sometimes you might want a different sound if the ability misses. In this instance, I'm just going to say no, that I want the same sound whether it hits or misses. The, obviously the difference would be if it hits the player, it will obviously make a pain noise and it will uh, take damage off them. Please select damage types this ability uses. Okay, Once since complete, it's fire press breath, bludgeoning. let's say fire. fire. Damage. Please select damage types this ab Please select method for determining amount of dice used to calculate damage. Okay, so there are two ways you can calculate uh, damage for abilities. Manually uh, enter amount of dice. Manually enter the dice or... Amount of dice used is equal to player's level. 
So that second option is handy if you want an ability to become more powerful as uh, as they level up, as uh, it ties in with uh, with the level of the character using it. But let's manually say enter manually amount of dice. Enter the dice. Enter the amount of dice used to calculate damage edit. One type and text. Say one enter, dice. Enter the amount of sides the dice have edit. Six and type the dice and text. we can say one, have zero. ten sides. That means it's got a one in ten. A damage could be anywhere between one and ten. ten. Would you enter, like edit, to assign this damage to a player or enemy? Um, now. I want to give this to an enemy, but we haven't created an enemy that can use it, so I'm going to say Would no Would you here. like to assign this damage to an... No. And there we go. We've created the brief, uh, the fire breath ability. So now all we need to do is create an enemy which we can assign that uh, ability to. Now, we've already shown enemy creation in a previous video, so I'm going to go through this really quickly, just to create an enemy to show you how you can uh, assign an ability to that enemy. Creation tools. Uh, so let's use the please enemy select with creation enemy tool. creation tool. Monster creator, please enter creatures. Uh, R A O N. Dragon. Dragon. Please enter select edit. enemy sound set. Okay, now I've already added sound sets. So dragon. Let's find dragon. Please select melee sound set. Uh, dragon. dragon again. Does this enemy have a body fall sound uh, when defeated? Yes. Yes. Please enter the enemy's level. The only thing this affects uh, are the enemy. Enter. Enter a description. Fine. Edit. Type and text. Uh, we won't worry about Escape. Description. Enter amount of experience gained for killing this enemy. Uh, edit. Zero five so zero fifty. Enter. Enter amount of gold gained for killing this uh, enemy. Edit. Zero two twenty. Zero twenty. Enter. Enter strength. Edit. Ten. Type and uh, text. Enter. Those, enter. Um, enter. 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 Enter intelligence. Enter. Enter wisdom. Enter. Enter charisma. Enter. Enter armor rating. Enter. Enter HP. This plus the constitution. Uh, enter. Enter mana points. This plus mana. Enter. Enter stamina points. This plus the enter. Does this enemy have any natural resilience or vulnerability? So you can add resilience or vulnerability here. I'm going to say that it's uh, resilient to yes. fire. Please select resi fire. Enter any fire it's going to be resilient one, one hundred percent to fire, so you won't be able to do any damage with fire attacks. One, Please select Enter resiliences edit. or vulnerabilities it's below. Nothing. Would you like to equip this enemy with a weapon? Uh, we don't want to give it a weapon, so we'll say no. no. Please select which stat modifier this enemy's uh, attack uses. So strength. Strength. Please select the type of physical damage this enemy deals. Uh, uh I'm going to say. A piercing. piercing. Do you want to add a secondary damage? Uh, no. no. Enter the amount of dice used to calculate damage uh, edits. One. Type of text. Enter. 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 Does this Type enemy drop any items? Does it drop any items? Um, we're gonna say, uh, no. Yes. No. Would you like to assign any abilities or uh, magic so to this enemy? Let's assign an ability Yes. Here. Please select. Uh, so. Fire breath. And there's the option Level of one the, damage. Um. Uh, ability we created, so let's assign that to the dragon. No abilities or magic. Enter um, the percentage chance of the enemy using an ability instead of a physical attack edit type and text. So here you can enter the percentage chance of them using that. So again, you might have more magical creatures that you'd want more likely to use abilities, or you might have non-magical creatures where you'd want the percentage to be lower so they're more likely to use a physical attack. I'm going to say a 75% Seven, chance of it using that ability. So if it's got enough uh, stamina points, it will, it will, it will, it, like I said, there's a 75% chance it would use that over a physical attack. Um, and only a 25% chance it would do physical. If it's got no stamina left, though, it will obviously just do physical attacks. 75, enter, edit, type and text. Um, right, and there we go. We've created the enemy too. So we've now created an enemy um, with abilities. At any point, if we want to amend anything about the enemy or the ability, Search box, um, edit, type and escape. we can edit, please select and uh, armor. Abilities. Amend the abilities here, or if we wanted to change the abilities we've assigned to the enemies. Enemies. Go to Please enemies. select. Wolf. Dragon. And Please select. Here we can overview. Stats. Experience. Abilities. Skills. Uh, and magic. We can view what. Um, Please select. View existing. We can adjust ability chance. Add new. Uh, we can add new abilities. Adjust, adjust ability, ability chance. View existing. Or we can view existing. Please Let's select. See what he can have at the moment. Fire breath. And there we Level go. Level one see damage. He's got fire breath. Um, so right. Abilities, skills, and, and magic. And that is how to create abilities within Sable. Now I'm not actually going to show that ability working because we're running out of time for this video. In our next video, however, we're going to be turning everything we've created so far um, more into a game. So the what we're hoping to do in the next video is basically just add a few more things to make everything we've created so far, like I say, feel more like a game. We're going to add a quest, we'll add uh, an intro which will fire when the game first starts, showing how you can add cutscenes as intros to there. We'll also add a couple more um, event triggers, we'll add the dragon as a boss battle, we'll add a start and an end to the game, just add a little bit more to the, the whole game and the map to, like I say, give it more of a, 
more of a game feel. And then the video after that, we'll actually do a playthrough of everything we've created. And that's when you'll see the, uh, the dragon and the ability we've just created. As ever, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. If you do like the videos and want to stay up to date on news and updates, do uh, check out our social media, which are in the description. And also, if you're interested, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, thanks for watching.